Hey everybody, um, I wanted to make a quick video on um, Barack Obama, um, just as a change of pace, uh, because I, I listen to a lot of progressive radio, um, I am a liberal, and um, I wanted to know, um, I wanted to post my opinion on the issue and ask everybody else, you know, what they think of it. Um, as for whether I think that Barack Obama should be held responsible for the words of his pastor, absolutely not. Um, you know, in the pagan community, um, there are a lots of lots of you know high priestesses and people who are leaders and stuff like that. And I think pretty much it's in agreement that we don't talk about politics, even though most of the pagan community is liberal. I mean, like I would say, 99% is liberal. Maybe one out of 100 pagans is is, is a conservative. Um, even though you know, we have that standard. We don't want to labor all, our, ourselves by any kind of political value because we, you know, once you do that, once you, you accept that label, then it's very hard to change it. So, um, you know, the idea that someone should be held responsible for somebody else's political ideas is ridiculous. I mean, it, it's, it's not, he doesn't go there for political advice. He goes there for spiritual advice. You know, um, the second point would be that, you know, I don't agree with what Reverend Wright said. Um, regardless of, you know, um, how you feel about, oh, well, this is very common in that type of church and whatever, you know, it doesn't make it right. Um, I think that his words are meant to incense people. Um, it, at least it seems like it. I mean, I, I when I consider a, a spiritual place, I consider it a place of, of you know like uniting and people coming together, not those people becoming divisive not towards another group. I, it just I don't know. It, it left me. Um, I would never conduct myself that way. I would never um, incense people who were in you know my circle um, against another group, even if we have reason to be incensed against them. You know I understand that. Black people have had a, hard, a lot of hardships, uh, uh, you know, be, because of white people. You know, <laughs> there's an obvious long history of that. And they have the right to be angry. I'm not saying they don't have the right to be angry. I just don't think that church is the best place to voice that anger. I think that church is a place for healing. And, you know, regardless of your religion, it should be a place where you, you go to heal your spirit, not to anger that spirit towards somebody else. So, you know, I don't know, that, that's how I feel about it. And I know that people are going to feel differently and stuff like that. Um, you know, um, there, there's a lot of groups in this country who have been oppressed by other groups, you know. Um, the pagan community has every right to be angry at Christians. Um, and a lot of them are angry at Christians, you know. Um, whether that's still valid, you know, it's really, really tough to say. I, I've gone through my own anger with Christians. I've I've come through this this last you know year and a half that I've been on YouTube I've come to um, kind of deal with some of that a little bit I'm not as angry at Christians as I was when I first came on YouTube when I first got here I was I, I hated Christians I really did now I I've seen more Christians that um, you know are more accepting so I, I don't see them so uh, one-dimensionally anymore I guess and I guess Hoping that, you know, bridge, bridging that gap, I think, would be, you know, a two-way thing. Hopefully they would see the pagan community as a little less one-dimensional as well. You know, um, I think that, you know, when you're divisive towards another group, um, you see them one-dimensionally, and you understand that they are individuals, they have their own feelings, you know, they may not agree with the mass opinion of something, and therefore, you know, we shouldn't do that. You know, I've I've gone from saying that about, you know, Christians, then conservative Christians, and then neoconservative Christians, and things like that. But really what it comes down to is people, no matter what they label themselves, are individuals. And, you know, Barack Obama included. He might label himself to be part of the United Church of Christ and be a member of that congregation, but it does not mean that he believes the same way that Pastor Wright does. Um, and uh, I think that, you know, I'd like to open this for discussion and see what other people, leaders in their religious community, whether whatever that religion is, um, and, you know, uh, people who are members of congregations, spiritual people, and a-spiritual people, you know, to kind of um, leave their comments on this, you know, I think that 
I think I've kind of, um, I don't think my, my uh, opinion is far from anybody else's, but I'd like to see what everybody else comes up with and um, has an opinion about it. All right, thanks.